The most that Nixon or JFK or anyone could actually say about me was basically based on the amount of stuff that I had manufactured, the amount of stuff that I had had built, or the amount of, of construction or amount of payroll that I had paid, that I had to be broke by, by this point in time, that I had to be, I must have gone, gone bankrupt and blah, blah, blah. That there is no way that anyone, that there was that much money in the world, blah, blah, blah. They didn't really understand that I was making the money. You know, I was actually printing it from Roman times. Like I said, at one point in time, there was a metal shortage. And that's where we get into the whole clay money and stuff like that. I I granted some people, because some, some people, we, we needed more money than we had actual metal. Because there was a metal shortage. So... You know, I granted for a couple other currencies to be uh, to be used. And yes, there's also, I believe the Chinese or someone, you have to go out back and ask them. They had these little sticks at some point in time. Money based on sticks or something. You could break off the stick or something into five pieces or something like that. I don't know. But it, was, it wasn't a stick. It was a piece of metal or a piece of something or other. And that was basically, it's a way of currency, basically. And I also had some clay coins or something. The the metal sticks weren't me though. I like round things. You know, it's a it's a commemoration of 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 my wheels and my and my my stars. You know, it's a round thingy, a round bit of money. And I didn't do the sticks. Someone else did the sticks, and um, and the round wheels, or whatever. But but you could exchange a stick for um, for for my money or something like that, because it's still metal. It was still it ha still had value as metal. So it's still a quantity. So, you know, I'd exchange it. You know, like I, like I said, other people would bring money to me or money to my thing or cash to my thing. It's like, we print money. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, uh, the most that, that I would do is I would do an exchange rate of basically your money for my money, basically. You know, you could exchange a dollar, uh, some other de denomination for a dollar bill. So you bring me your shit money, basically, or whatever. And if it's a valid actual money or whatever, it has value and it's in it was for something real, then I would exchange it for, for cash, for dollars. So anyway, so so basically Nixon and a lot of other people, they they, they, they tried, you know, it was, ambulance, it was basically ambulance chasing. They were assuming this, assuming that, assuming, like I say, you, this is why in my courtrooms, we didn't just use the, I invented the stenographers because I was having every single word written down in the court case. So... So there could be no possibility of, well, what about the translation? What about this? What about that? You know, because I didn't want there to be any questions on any of it. You know, I want it to be a clear cut, you know. And this is why people can go back and review old cases because, you know, it's like yeah, everything was written down that was said in the courtroom. And it was just a room, blah, blah, blah. So all you have are the, all these records. This was Starline, mining and shipping. How can I help? Oh yeah, and also air freight. One of my newest things. After I did mining and shipping and, and other things, I eventually started working on aircraft. You know, because I was, I felt like I wanted to do it. So, and I could do it like nobody else, of course. So, and I invented the wing and all that. Up until then, everything else was just like this and that. And there were other people. Like I said, every everybody, even people that that, that, that weren't associated with me, you know, I, I let them, you know, I, I wanted them to be photographed as well because I believe in history. I think all history is valid and all history is real. You know, or all history, you know, you know, should be remembered. So even, you know, and other people would do things, you know, like likewise, like me. You know, because I'm, I, I was doing my documentation of my epic history. So, you know, so other people would document their history as well. You know, and um, like I said, JFK was was doing all the, all the, all these weird fucked up things like photo matting and trying to twist this, trying to make people believe that and all kinds of weird stuff like perception real and this and that. And like, you know, I'm just like, that's just weird. You know, that's just weird. So... Like I said, a lot of my files and records were, are actually not even on this planet. They're on other planets. Even, even, even the documented things, the viewing or watching of this planet are on other planets. Other planets were watching this planet. You know, I mean, other things. What else are you going to do in time and space? Wander around, watch things. You know. Life, existence can be boring for a lot of different life forms that live a long time. So, Anyway, you know.
the Maltese Falcon. I don't know where the highly radioactive thorium and uranium Maltese Falcon are. Listed as an unknown metal. Or three of them were listed as unknown metal. And highly radioactive. Four of them. There's a thorium one. There's a uranium one. There's a copper one. And uh, gold, silver. Anyway, I don't really know. I don't care. But that's what the Maltese Falcon were. So about 20 birds or 20 of them, I think, or uh, some number of them. I don't know. Eight or 16 as me. There's probably even a zinc one. I don't know. So anyway, yeah, whatever. So... Anyway, so yeah, so a lot of people, oh, the, the, the ultrasonics were affecting Brian's brain. He has delusions of grandeur. He lives in a, a fictional world where he owns and is all this stuff. And that's why there's Britannic, Titanic, Leviathan, Lusitania, this dream world, dreams of grandeur. But it's not real. It's only documented and you actually see the Britannic and everything else like that. And these star ships and star line ships. White star line, blue star line, black star line, red star line. And there's actually photographs of all this stuff. So, that's one hell of a delusional fantasy, isn't it? It's the ultrasonics. They make his brain think and connect the history as if he was actually a part of it, but he clearly couldn't have been. Blah, blah, blah. And there can't be a galaxy that's going to run into us or come near us in about 680 trillion years. No. No, 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 no. And I didn't name America. No, 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 no. See, I even admit it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm being sarcastic. And like I say, I don't really care. Good luck with that. More power to you guys. Keep going. You might actually reach China someday. <laughs> That's a deep hole, guys. You never found the found the thirty bodies of the clones that were JFK, did you? And you never will.